she's only one half. Unless you're planning on doing a ritual to summon UFOs. And I must stop the plan. The title is The Flower That Blooms in Snow. It's confidential. Don't you know? The Earth rotates toward the east, so... It can't be. Ah, uh, this can't be happening. You should talk to Mamoru before checking the body. The president informed me that you'd be here at 2200, so I let you through into this room. Then, her body. Yeah, that door is the only way in or out. Of course not. Who'd put a security camera in their own room? Daddy's job is to help someone very important. I assist and protect that person from harm. Yeah, Daddy's a professional. I won't ever let anything bad happen to them. Looks like he's not the culprit. Yeah, I think we can strike him off the list of suspects. I think it was around 1400. The president got back from seeing the police, returned to this room, then... I haven't seen her since. I'm not always in the president's office. I'm usually on standby in the room outside. I only come here when called. Tokiko has been in this room since 2 p.m.? She should have been, yeah. Has anyone entered or left the room? No one. Is it possible that someone was in there before 2 p.m.? No. I'm sure you're already aware, but the security here is incredibly tight. There are security cameras all over the stairs and corridors, along with the elevator and outside the door. It's impossible to get in without getting noticed. Ryuki, I checked the data and the security cameras. It's true that no one entered this room other than Tokiko. And no one left it either. Anyway, I need to report to the people at Nye's. Very well. Please don't let anyone out of the building. Got it. How did this happen? If, if I, I wish, wish to do so, so, I can, I can resurrect, resurrect myself. myself. One thing is for sure. Ryuki, look around the room. 
No traces of blood. In other words, Tokiko wasn't killed here. The culprit must have been Terror. He killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought her right half here. But how did he get in the room? We don't know how he left either. What if he's still in this room? No, that's not possible. I checked with X-ray vision. No sign of anyone and no biological responses detected. Then he had to have escaped somehow. I suspect the culprit's escape route and way in were the same. So, Ryuki, let's look into finding the escape route first. We should know how the culprit got in once we learn how they got out. Okay, let's investigate. Before we begin, I want to point something out. The side with the window is the south. And the waterfall is to the north. I know that. Why are you mentioning it? Shut your mouth! It'd be a pain in the ass if we didn't know which way was which! You should be grateful I told you! Okay. Why are you angry? Just zip it and get working, alright? is inorganic as a whole, so this really stands out. It's Tokiko's right half. Just like before, it's been severed at the molecular level. The body appears to have been cut with the same instrument, and she was also bisected while she was still alive. In other words, it's highly likely that it was the same killer. Yes, that's why I said Terror is probably the culprit. The estimated time of death is approximately three hours ago, which would be around 1900 today. That's when we were at Yoyagi Park. If you spin this around, a secret staircase from the floor... Won't appear. As I mentioned before, there are no traces of blood in the room. Not on this desk, the walls, or the floor. Terror killed Tokiko somewhere else, then brought the right half of her body to this room. But how? Looks like the statue is made of iron. This statue is iron too. way behind it? Probably not. Wait, what's this? There are metal plates shaped like numbers embedded in the board at the front of the desk. So you're able to see them by using x-ray like this. It's as if this was prepared just for us. Who would do something like this? 
Anyway, we can figure that out later. Let's focus on the investigation. Hmm. Is this... What is it? Inside Tokiko's womb. There are traces of her having given birth. What? Though it wasn't recently. It has to have been more than 20 years ago. Tokiko has a grown child? Yes, but there are no records of this anywhere in her family register. She hasn't filed birth registration, and there aren't any records of it in any medical institutions in Japan. There's something in the floor. Maybe it's a rail? It's embedded in the floor. This is probably an electromagnetic rail. It extends from the corner of the statue toward the pond. The same kind of rail is over here too. It's even going toward the same direction. There's something embedded in the wall. It's a keypad for a pin code. But this frame is on there tight. It won't budge. Maybe there's some way to move it. Looks like the wall behind this waterfall is made of tungsten. It's a material that blocks x-rays, so I'm not able to see anything beyond that wall. this there's an arrow under the symbol and seven squares too if you detected it with thermo mode does that mean it's emitting heat it must have a heating wire or something embedded in it There's something coming out of it. It's an infrared laser. Normally it wouldn't be visible, even with thermo mode. But this place is full of water particles. The light hits the water particles and disperses, making it visible to the human eye. The light is shining toward the southeast. It's crossing the pond in a diagonal line. An infrared laser is coming out of the statue, too. It's crossing with that other beam. This one's aimed to the northeast, huh? Alright, looks like we've investigated what we could for now. Now, let's get to solving the mystery. How did the culprit get out of the room? That's what you're talking about, right? Yes. So, let's begin. The first thing that comes to mind is that rail under the floor. The electromagnetic rail. 
The rail leads from the statue toward the pond. Yeah. Do you think the statue moves along the rail? It's made of iron, so maybe it's pulled with an electromagnet. It's probably operated with a remote control or something. But I didn't find anything like that. Then, please... Tama, do you have a magnet? No, I don't. Besides, you can't move something like that with something as small as a portable magnet anyway. Hello? Come out, remote. Where'd you go? I won't leave you alone anymore, so come on out. Ryuki, are you okay? Uh, why do remotes go missing all the time? No matter how many times you find them, they vanish within seconds. I wasn't brought into this world just to look for remotes! L let's calm down for a minute. You must have had a rough childhood. Take a deep breath. We can forget about the remote for now. What? There's a saying that goes, faith will move mountains. If you put your heart into it, there's nothing you can't accomplish. You know, I can discharge an electrical current directly into your brain. I'm sorry. I'll take this seriously. Mess around like that during the shoot, and I'll cook your brain with electricity. Yes, we have no other choice. So, let's get right to it. No, wait, don't actually move it until we're shooting. What do you mean? I mean when we actually record this with the camera and complete the film. Why are you like this? Quiet! I'm the director, so you follow my instructions or I'll fire you! This statue is the same as the one we saw earlier. The underground rail leads toward the pond. Which means... Alright, let's tilt this building somehow. What? Isn't it obvious? Objects move from high places to low places. If we make that statue's position higher, it'll naturally slide toward the pond. Do you build an airport every time you need to go to the convenience store? If you make the floor slippery, I'm sure it'll move on its own. If that's your best idea, why don't I cover your whole body in motion and drag you? It's no good. Let's just give up. Where is this coming from? Well, there's this game I played a long time ago, and there was this part where you couldn't advance until you chose give up on the investigation. And this is your best idea? Well, there's not much else we can do. So, let's get right to it. You little shit! Don't make me send you back to the green room, damn it! Oh, right. We were still in rehearsal. I'm not supposed to move it until the shoot. Yes, we don't want this important set to get damaged, right? This is a set? There was an input device behind us. You already know the numbers to enter, right? Hmm. Even if I did, I would need to be able to move the frame. That's not what I asked. Do you know the code or not? In fact, I need you to know the answer. If you can't even solve this, you don't deserve to call yourself a member of Abyss. So, can you tell me the numbers? It should be seven digits. No, that's not what I meant. Then spit it out already! You quit screwing around! You saw the non X symbol using thermal mode, didn't you? And... There were 16 numbers arranged in a diamond shape. You should be able to use those numbers to figure out the answer. Now, try again.
Yeah, good job. That's probably the answer. Probably. I mean, it's not like I actually checked. I don't know whether those numbers are correct or not. Okay, the rehearsal is now over. It's time to start. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to start filming. Ryuki, you're going to play the fleeing culprit this time. The one who placed the right half of Tokiko's severed body here. You just finished a big job. You need to get out of here, fast. But if you leave the conventional way, you'll be spotted by the surveillance camera. Same thing for when you enter, too. The culprit used some special method to get in and out of the room. Now... I want you to consider the situation, and whatever you might be feeling, use it for your performance. Hey, is it really necessary to act? Shut up! Okay, here we go. Ready? Action! I'm the one who killed Tokiko Shigure. I brought the body here for some reason. Now that I'm done here, I'm gonna leave. Terrible acting as usual. Give me a break. Okay, what did the culprit do first to escape? Well, there's that electromagnetic rail in the floor leading to the pond. It pulls the iron statue with magnetic force. The culprit probably used a remote control, but I can't find it, so... I'll try forcing it! Something happened. It's because it touched the infrared laser from the Southwest statue. Okay, so the statue was moved so it would hit the laser. What did the culprit do next? He must have also moved this statue with a remote. Okay, go. Um, the statue begins moving via the electromagnets. The culprit grins maniacally, his plan in motion. Hmm? Can you not read the stage directions out loud? You're supposed to play the part of the culprit. But what's the point of... Don't talk back to the director! Don't make me throw a fucking ashtray at you! Oh no! I need to hurry or someone's gonna see me! Hurry! Hurry! Move! Move already! Good, Ryuki! That's it! That's what I wanted to see! Like I said, the culprit probably had a remote. It's fine. 
This scene is where we show the screaming of the culprit's tortured heart in monologue. <laughs> Alright, this statue reacted to the laser too. I see. So this is how it works. So I just need to enter the number from earlier, right? 4901095. There! It's more than a hidden door. It's an elevator. See? There's a button pointing down next to the door. This is the highest floor of the building. It looks like this elevator is only for going down. Let's try pushing it. Terror's escape route. And the way he got in. Terror used this elevator to bring Tokiko's right half into the room. And he must have used the same method to get out. The statue and Nanyapul X symbol must have been set up to return to their original positions automatically. Anyway. Let's go down there. this place it looks like we tunneled to the other side of the world you mean we're underground yeah more than 160 feet deep radio waves are completely cut off due to the depth we can't connect to the network so keep that in mind Anyway, let's start looking around. Maybe we'll find some sort of clue. This is kind of creepy. 
Maybe it's a pedestal for performing some sort of ritual. Like offering a sacrifice? It's not an ironing board, that's for sure. Tokiko. She said Nyes isn't a religious group, but this is clearly... It's definitely got some cold vibes going on. What is this box? I don't know. The jewel box from Urashima Tara? That one was at the bottom of the ocean. But there's a beautiful princess here, right? Where? I'll kick your ass! What's this? It's mechanical. Some sort of device, maybe? Can't you analyze it? Not from here, no. At the very least, it doesn't seem to be explosives or poison gas. You mean it's safe to open? Probably. Sand is coming down from above. Looks like the ceiling has degraded. I hope it doesn't come down on us. A nice symbol here, too. The Nonable X. Don't tell me you're going to open it. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't. Why not? Um, well, just a hunch. It should be fine. You said it's safe to open. I did add, probably. Still. We can't just not check it. You can't get the treasure unless you lay the dragon, huh? There is so much wrong with that statement. But yes, that's the idea. <laughs> hmm? What was that sound? Ryuki, a biological signal has been detected. They're somewhere close. Wh what the? What? Why do you look like that? What do you mean? Anyway, um, uh. Hey, freeze! What is this? Ryuki, there's a torch coming down from above!
Boss! I apologize for yesterday! Ryuki, we wouldn't need police if an apology solved everything. <sighs> I know you're doing your best on this investigation. Nevertheless, your screw-up yesterday really cost us. The investigation hasn't been proceeding like we hoped. I'll make up for it! Please, give me another chance! <sighs> this reminds me of something. My daughter's been begging me not to decrease her allowance when she gets bad grades. Ryuki, want me to cover you in plaster? I opened three bottles last night. I wanted to forget about something. I'd like to bury you right about now. I feel like every time I try to push you in the right direction, you fold like those curtains. Come on, boss. Wanna try putting that mask on? No, thank you. Ryuki, how about I hang you up there? Wow, that's so cool. You're not gonna improve my mood like that. I smacked the hell out of some symbols last night, like that monkey toy. Before I knew it, it was morning already. Want to take a bath together? That sounds like a trap, so... no thank you.
Is your head as empty as that pumpkin, Ryuki? This incident will stain your record more than spilled coffee. A tanuki may have been the better choice for the new investigator. I'd like to turn you into a soccer ball. <sighs> if only I could control you like an RC car. Ryuki, let me give you some good advice. Squint your eyes and stand back six feet and the mosaic will disappear. What kind of advice is that? How'd you like it if I shoved that handle into your mouth for punishment? I'd prefer if you didn't. It's all right now, because I am here! Half Might! Excuse me? What I'm trying to say is, I'm motivated, so please let me stay on this case. I'll solve this case no matter what it takes. In fact, I'm the only one who can. <sighs> Look, you realize it was that kind of gung-ho attitude that led you to making that mistake yesterday, right? I understand you want to distinguish yourself, but you're biting off more than you can chew. Just stop now! I should be able to handle this better than anyone! Ryuki, boss is right. You're getting too impatient. Your life isn't over because of one little slip-up. More importantly, you need to accept your faults and learn from mistakes. Your daughter... I'm still not used to hearing that. Oh? Well, I guess it's true that I don't give off a maternal image. I haven't done anything motherly at all, really. My daughter just turned 18 last year, but she pretty much grew up all on her own. 18? She's older than I thought. <laughs> you wouldn't think it looking at this figure, huh? She's a grown woman now. She's capable of handling her business. Unlike a certain someone who gets overeager and screws up big time. <sighs> I thought you were a bit more capable than this, Ryuki. I mean, I got chewed out by my higher-ups, too. After work tonight, I'm going to my favorite host club and popping every champagne bottle in there. Nothing other than what you already know. Oh, right, there is some news about the case. It has an official name now. The Half-Body Serial Killings. But that's pretty long, so we've just been calling it the HB case. The HB case. Now you know how the media is. You don't solve this quick and they might end up calling you the Half-Brain Investigator. So you'd better start getting things done, Ryuki. I understand your enthusiasm, Ryuki. So, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself. I want you to continue investigating this case. Th thank you! But I need you to follow orders from above. Orders from above? What do you mean? 
It's official. Kuruto Ryuki, you're being demoted to a police officer. What? This is for yesterday's fiasco. Wait, you mean like a normal cop? That's terrible! That's way too harsh! However, I'll give you three days. If you can resolve the case within that time, I'll take back your punishment and you won't be demoted. Three days? Ryuki, we should look at this in a positive light. We can continue the investigation, and if we can solve it in three days, you can avoid demotion. It's impossible. We barely made any progress. How can I solve the case in three days? Ryuki... Demoted? Me? I'd rather be a bum on the street than a disgraced cop. Ryuki! Oh, and the communication system still hasn't been fixed. So any data Tama obtains can't be uploaded to the cloud yet. So just like I said before, Tama's data will be lost if her body is damaged. Be careful. You seem completely out of it. Ryuki... Are you okay, Ryuki? Yeah. I think the scenery helped me calm down a bit. But to think... Demoted... Me... You still have three days. If you can solve the case by then... It's impossible. I can't believe I was told this today, of all days. Today was the day. 
I lost my other half. I had a younger twin brother. He had a strong sense of justice. Whenever he saw evil, he would stand up to it, face it head on, no matter what. That's just the kind of guy he was. His dream was to become a detective and help bring all the dangerous criminals in Japan to justice. My brother and I were really close, and we hung out all the time. It was like he was another me. But on that day, six years ago, my brother and I were in the city, and we happened to see a wanted criminal. I called the police right away, but the culprit tried to flee on a big trailer truck. He was about to get away, so my brother tried to stop him, and he ended up in front of it, and... He got run over, crushed half his body. This is the watch he was wearing. His time has been frozen since, and I lost my other half. My brother died six years ago, on February 13th. Today was the day. But I guess there's no point in me telling you all this. You already know my entire history. I hate the criminal that killed my brother. I wish I could catch him and rip him to pieces. And not just him. I hate them all. All the evil in this world. I hate it all. Then... Are you really going to give up now? If you give up, the evil wins. Miyuki, isn't there something you should be doing for your brother? Think about it. Yeah, you're right, Tama. Thanks for reminding me of my promise to him. I'll become a hero of justice. That's why I decided to carry on his dream and be a police officer. If I fall into the bottom, I just need to crawl my way back up. I can't let it get to me now. The reason I became a sinker at Abyss was so I could encounter the more vicious criminals. The foul, immoral kind that evade the law. Sinkers dig deep into their hearts and make them pay. That's my idea of a hero. I lost something of mine in order to become a sinker. One of my eyes. I had to extract my eye to become a sinker. So you could transplant an AI ball? Me. The surgery was last summer. Right after I was assigned to Abyss. Yes, so you and I have known each other for about half a year now. I've lost many things along the way, but thanks to you going into my left eye, I feel like a lot of that emptiness has been filled. Ryuki... Tama, as long as you're with me, I can keep going. No, I have to keep going. For my brother, I'm going to catch the HB killer. Yeah. Okay, then it's time to pull myself together and get back to the investigation. So, got any new intel? What? I'm sorry. Do you have any new information for me, please, ma'am? Yes, I do. I looked into Chikara Horidori some more and came across something fishy. Also, I found something interesting about Shoma. Wait. Before we go, you have a call from Iris. Oh, Ryuki? There's something I wanted to tell you about the case. What is it? Well, I'm sorry. Recording is about to start, so I can't really get into it right now. Would you be able to visit Lemnusgate later? Lemnusgate, the talent agency Iris belongs to. The building also has a small recording studio. All right, I'll see you there later. Okay, thank you! Chikara was doing some dubious research in the past. His current research is pretty dubious too. Rewriting DNA to achieve immortality. It was even more questionable than that. Rumors say there were even human experiments involved. Human experiments? Anyway, word moves fast, and the Research Institute was temporarily shut down. This happened nine years ago. During that time, Chikara went missing for a bit to avoid being investigated. But what about the current Institute? It was reopened after things had settled down. 
A course that required a massive amount of funds, which was provided by Richie Chieda. He's an Chieda's father. Richie Chieda is an extremely wealthy investor. He's rich enough to be on the list of the world's most wealthy people. He's involved in a wide range of business ventures and holds many different titles. Investor, philanthropist, the founder of the Chieda Foundation, a university professor emeritus, a national goodwill ambassador. And after all that, he also became the chairman of a social welfare corporation, Iowan. Iowan? It's an orphanage. Seems that's where he is now. The location indicated in the hidden message in BATS 490 was a research institute. That's what Shoma said, right? Yeah. But it actually wasn't Horidori Institute. I read through a ton of speculation threads online, and none of them mentioned Horidori Institute. Then where was it, really? I don't know. All I know for sure is it wasn't Horidori Institute. Then that means Shoma lied. I have to talk to him. Where's Shoma now? I don't know. It looks like he turned his smartphone off. But we do have a lead. Remember what Komeiji said? Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. Ferris wheel? The one on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton? Our destinations are decided for now, but... Nyoen? Misaton? And the third is Lemnusgate. There's one more place I'd like to go. Marble in Golden Yokocho. Ah, Mama the Informant. You suspect she might know something. That's right. Then let's get going. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> 